Who's that little hoss? Is that a Connor cat? Did you see a Connor cat? Did you? I gotta shut that doorbell off. Every time he moves, the doorbell goes. <coughs> see? So we turn that off. And we'll go back out. And I got I opened up a can of uh, Vienna sausage. We'll give him that. Connor, don't you be picking on him. Poor little hossy. Come here, hossy. <clears throat> he was the only one showed up last night, weren't you? Huh? You were the only one showed up last night. Yes. Yeah. Nobody else come. Here. There you go. No, nobody else come. And I was going to have a couple of ladies and their grandchild out, but uh, I'm glad they didn't come because they would have been disappointed. Hey. Huh? You were the only one here, and he was here at 8, well, this time right now, 8.30. And he has a little bit to eat and he leaves. But I'm hoping the babies will be back tonight. But I, they must have been here early in the morning. So I put the pizza out there in the lawn and it was all gone about 3.30. It was here. All the pizza that was left over was gone. So. <clears throat> Connor Cat. Are you picking on that poor little raccoon? Are you picking on that little raccoon? Hossy! Hoss! He's gentle as a lamb, that fella, aren't you? Come here. Yeah, you're just a good little boy. Yes, you are. There you go. Oh, you dropped a piece. You dropped a piece. What do you think, Connor? Well, the screen's staying in place. So tomorrow morning, my car's going in. they got no brakes in the car. They're going to replace the brake line. So that's going in at 8.30. And at 1 o'clock, uh, my mother-in-law that used to live with me here, she passed away a year and a half ago. And uh, they're burying her tomorrow. Finally, after a year and a half. So she was cremated. So we had to wait for some family to come home from overseas. And so I got that to do tomorrow. She used to love the raccoons. She used to sit there in the kitchen table and I'd leave the... Well, we didn't have Connor and them then, but uh, I used to leave that patio door open and the raccoons would come in and sit beside her and, feed and eat. <clears throat> she just loved them. And uh, when also when she was here, we had 10 cats living in the house. Of course, they were all outdoor cats. And we had 16 more in the barn. We had 26 all together. Plus, we had the raccoons. Yeah. <clears throat> You're enjoying that, aren't you? Huh? Are you enjoying that? The Vienna sausage? You are. I got some watermelon there, too. I'm going to put out some honeydew melon. He may not stay around for that. I might have to leave that for the rest comes. <clears throat> On the way, every time he gets something to eat, he always goes under that bench. That's because when the other ones are here, they uh, they pick on him, eh? Because he's a loner. He's uh, the other ones are all family, and uh, he's got no family. Probably holds up by himself somewhere but when he gets a little older he's not old enough to have kids yet but when he does um, he'll probably move on I was saying to Steve last night that now that Rascal's gone I mean this crew we have here they'll leave uh, for the winter and I won't see them again we might have a whole new batch next year so I'm still Figuring out whether I'm going to do another year or not. Not the same when Rascal's not here. But when they all go for the winter, I know they're gone for good and they don't come back. You won't be back. You'll be out there with your girlfriend having babies, won't you? You'll be having babies. Yeah. What you doing, Connor? <clears throat> Oh, 
What you doing, Connor Cat? Ready for another piece? Ready? Look. Never mind him. <laughs> I'm gonna put this other one under the the thing for it. <clears throat> this is the uh, stuff that Steve brought and uh Spiro bought brought some too. There's a whole bunch of cans there and corn so it depends on how many I have tonight I'll put uh, I'll put some corn out and uh and some more fruit. Are you leaving? Where are you going? See, he, uh, he he comes early and then he takes off. Look! Look! See if he'll get it. I give him a, I threw a pastry at him. He's gonna go check it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure he's going to eat that. That's uh, strawberry fruit bites. Oh yeah, he's going to eat that. <laughs> yeah, Spiro and Ann bought, uh, brought two packages and uh, we're down to the, the lower floor here now. We'll finish them off tonight. Well, he's gone in the woods with it. He took it with him. Okay.